okay hello everyone in a new video in this one we are going to solve exercise number one uh, for grade 10 in the chapter of kinematics now the position time equation of a particle m moving in the space reference system oi is given by x is equal to minus 0 0.25 t square plus 40 plus 2 so notice that here uh, both parameters x and t are given in the si so x is expressed in meters and t is expressed in seconds so everything is in the si so this is the position time equation. Now number one, specify the nature of motion of M. So and by specify it means that we need to state with the justification and by the nature of motion here we need to state whether it's URM or UVRM. And by UVRM we need to state whether it's UARM or UDRM. So we need to state whether it's URM, UARM, or UDRM. Okay, this is A. So notice that this equation includes t to the power 2. So it's in the form of x is equal to half a t square plus v0t plus x0. And in this case, the motion is given by UVRM. So let's say since the given position. time equation verifies the general form x is equal to half a t square plus v0 t plus x0 with now the value of half a is equal to minus 0 0.25 now what distinguishes UARM and UVRM is the sign of the acceleration. So if A is positive, then the type of motion is given by UARM. Then if A is negative, uh, sorry, here you do R UDRM. Then the type of motion is UDRM. So both of these, uh, both motions are classified as UDRM. So now knowing that half A is equal to minus 0 0.25, then we can get rid of 2 by multiplying both sides by 2. So then A is equal to, now multiplying minus 0 0.25 by 2, then the acceleration is given by minus 0 0.5. For sure in the SI, because all of these quantities are expressed in the SI, which is given by meter minus 0 0.5 meter per second square which is negative then in this case the type of motion now because a is negative then the type of motion is udrm and here recall that d stands for decelerated now as for number two, determine the acceleration, the initial speed, and the initial position of M. So we need to determine the value of A, already done. We need to determine the initial initial speed, which is denoted by V0. Zero stands for initial, and the initial position, which is denoted by X0. And this can be done by comparing the uh, given equation with the general equation after we have determined the nature of motion. So notice that because the given equation is given by X is equal to minus 0 0.25 T square, plus 4t plus 2 whereas the general equation is given by x is equal to half a t square plus v0 t plus x0 so by comparison now we have already compared these two equations and we know that the value of a is given by minus 0 0.5 meter per second square whereas now if we compare both equations so the linear term which is given by 40 comparing it with v v0t so we cannot we can notice that v0 so here let's say and v0 is equal to 4 so no need to solve this equation because we have already determined the value of v0 now it's left to plug the corresponding unit of the speed which is given by meter per second in the si since all of these quantities are expressed in the si and it's left to determine the initial position, which is the constant. Comparing both constants, we can notice that x0 is equal to 2, and the SI unit of the position is given by meters. OK. 
okay so here let's say that a is equal to 0 0.5 meter per second square v0 the initial speed is given by 4 meters per second whereas the initial position is given by x0 is equal to 2 meters now they are telling us to find the expression of the speed of m as function of m so notice that here because the motion is classified as udrm and this stands for decelerated so as as this particle decelerates so expect that the v will change so v is a variable then for this reason we need to determine the expression of the speed as function of time now this expression can be determined by referring to the nature of motion. So let's say since the type of motion is UDRM. So UDRM is a special case of UVRM. And we know that the expression of V in this case as function of T is given by V is equal to AT plus V0 then v is equal to at plus v0 but we know that the value of a that we already calculated is given by 0 0.5 meter per second square and we know the expression of v0 to be so the value of v0 4 meters per second so here we must keep t as a variable notice that because they are telling us as function of time so always the parameter time must be as a variable because time evolves from 0 to 1, 2, 3, etc. Then in this case, the expression of the speed as function of time for this moving particle is given by z minus 0 0.5 t plus 4. And let me write this expression here, in which v is expressed in the SI because a and v0 are in the SI. Now, for this moving particle, we have two equations so the first equation is given by the position time equation whereas the second equation we can name this equation to be the speed time equation let me make some space here now in number four calculate the time needed so we're interested in determining the time by m to stop so this is important and let's split this number into two parts So we are solving the first part, which is given by calculate the, the time needed by m to stop. So in order to calculate the time, we need another information. And here they are telling us by m to stop. And by m to stop, it means that the speed becomes zero. So here the speed we have zero. Now we know the value of the speed. So we need to determine the value of time, knowing that we have two equations, the position time equation and the speed time equation. So we will refer to the speed time equation in order to determine the value of time so we will keep time as variable and here we will replace the value of v to be zero because at this moment m the particle m will stop so zero is equal to minus 0 0.5 t plus 4 now what's the type of this equation this is a linear equation and one unknown the unknown is given by t how do you solve this equation we put t on one side and all the other numbers on the other side so dragging this number to the left hand side it will gain a minus sign minus with minus it will become plus then 0 0.5 t is equal to 4 dividing both sides by 0 0.5 then the value of t is given by this fraction plugging this fraction on the calculator then the value of t is given by 8 since previously everything is expressed in the SI so the value of t will be in the SI which is 8 seconds so it will take the particle m um, 8 seconds to stop why to stop because recall that the particle is decelerating now as for the second part of this equation deduce then the distance covered by it and here it rep refers to the particle and here recall that the distance is not x and the distance is given by x minus x0 okay in order to determine the value of d we need to determine the value of x and x0 as well so we know that the value of x0 is given by 2 now in order to determine the value of d we need to determine the value of x and and by deduce it means that we need to use the previous part in the previous part we have determined the time required for the particle to stop which is given by eight seconds so we need to find for an equation that relates t and x and this is given by the position time equation so x 
is equal to minus 0 0.25 t square plus 40 plus 2 but the value of t is equal to 8 seconds y because this time refers to the stopping of the particle m so now let's replace the value of t by 8 then x is equal to minus 0 0.25 8 raised to the power 2 plus 4 multiplied by 8 plus 2 now plugging this exp expression on the calculator then the value of x is given by 18 since all of these quantities are expressed in the SI so the value of x will be in the SI which is meters then x is equal to 18 meters but notice that yet we didn't answer the question because we are interested in determining the distance which is given by d is equal to x minus x0 the value of x is given by 18 whereas the value of x0 is given by 2 now 18 minus 2 is given by 16 since both x and x0 are expressed in meters so the value of d will be in meters which is given in the SI so the distance d covered by this particle is given by 16 meters so that's it for me in this video guys hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one